I do follow this awesome astrologer. Um, her name is Gina Piccolo on Instagram. Yeah. And she does, she has like a Patreon page and she does every week an astro reading for the week where she does a, a collective one of like everything, all the energies that are going on. And then she goes through each individual sign and you can listen to your rising sign and your sun sign. And I am so in it with her. I now do <laughs> monthly personal readings and I swear she is uh, like she's so gifted and now I want to do a reading with um, your girlfriend Stephanie so. no way dude I swear I, I feel like I'm just like I'm just like uh, like I'm her marketing manager or something I'm always like hey do you want a reading Stephanie does she does I'm sorry I'm, I'm always like sorry baby like she's right there in the room so I'm like I'm sorry Steph to just sell you like this but I mean you do do readings and you're practicing and you're good at it you have really good intuition you do one right now live <laughs> No, I, I, That's a whole other podcast, maybe. <laughs> funny you mentioned that though, because okay, so you're going to be episode 81 for the podcast, and I'm mm-hmm. I'm planning for episode 100 to be like a special edition podcast where I'll be the guest, and I'm thinking maybe Stephanie interviews me, but if anything, that will be the episode where she does a live reading. Yeah. And who's I mean, to say who's to say that energy isn't valid? You know, who's to say mm-hmm. like if it, if it rings true to you. Who's to say that's wrong? Exactly. Who, who's the astrologer you said again? Can you say their name again? Her name's Gina Piccolo. Who's to say what Gina Piccolo is helping you with, guiding you through, you know? Like, it's not necessarily Gina giving you these answers, right? It's not her. She's she's kind of the, uh, the, the middle conduit. man. Yeah, yeah. The conduit. Perfect. Yes. And I don't know. It's It honestly feels – my friend Brian was here the other day and then he, we started talking about like uh, about cards and whatnot, auras and and he talked about how he sees – he used to see auras and and we were just like, bro, like he got a little timid but we're like, bro, you're in a good room. This is the right audience to talk about this. And if yeah. – is this our generation's new religion, our new faith? Because yeah, you know, look, I feel like organized religion, you know, really causes a lot of divide – in a lot of different ways. Um, I grew up Jewish, so I feel like, I don't know, but I'm like Jewish, like super reform, but <laughs> never grew up like with religion as a big thing. But I always did feel drawn to something that was bigger than myself. And I wonder also as artists, as people who choose careers where everything is completely out of your control, that finding some sort of um, connection to something that's bigger than ourselves, whether it be, you know, higher higher power or astrology or tarot cards to help guide us through this time where we have no, you know, rhyme or reason for anything. I I do think is really helpful and whether it's real or not. I mean, I personally do think it's real because it, it feels right, you know? And that's what matters. I think that's what, because Christianity, like I was raised Christian and Mm -hmm. the way I learned about Christianity is that it, it wasn't a religion. It was a faith. You're just, right. ha- you're having, and that's that, and religion, in my opinion, is just anything man-made that's used to oppress other people and to control. But like when you take Judaism, Catholicism, Christianity, Buddhism, all these teachings and faiths, it's all grounded in what you just said about believing in something higher than yourself. Because yeah. this, this world's wild. This world is scary, unpredictable, and it can crush you. It can, like as uh, we were talking about Jason, Dave, and Frank earlier, like, Rest in peace, Green Ranger. Like life can crush you. And you, it doesn't matter, like how successful you are, how busy you are, how much money you have, how much fame you have. It can still crush you, man. And yeah. having that outside yeah. conduit, that outside whatever it is, whether it's whether if it's someone reading your tarot cards, whether it's God talking to 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 a holy person, you know, in, in your spiritual place. It helps you just detach from that ego and that fear. Yeah. Yeah. It's something where you're like, well, you know, I really do believe that there's a divine plan for all of us. And, you know, you can't see light without knowing what dark is. So, you know, I feel like the things in my life that feel like challenges or hard times, it's like I have to find the light in them and go, okay, well, I'm going to grow from this because... If I didn't have this, I wouldn't be able to enjoy this other thing in my life because I wouldn't appreciate it the same way. And, you know, it's about really finding, you know, light in the dark times. 